there's no question that the journals are going to be affected and especially right now we also are launching two new journals uh, how are they going to be affected it's really difficult to predict the uh, publishing landscape was already very very um, unstable and unpredictable before COVID. So the way we are dealing with this is that we are trying to be uh, as innovative as possible. Uh, with crisis, there is always opportunity. And there is an opportunity here uh, for the journals to evolve dramatically to fit the needs of the future, because we really don't know what the needs of the future uh, uh, is, are going to be, uh, we need to be very flexible um, in terms of the way the journals are going to be uh, uh, reinvented. In, 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 that's a bit, bit of a strong word, but we need to think that way. You know, science is going to change. Everything is going to change after, after COVID goes, when it goes. Um, and um, we need to be on the ball with this. We need to not uh, stay still and and wait for things to happen. Um, some things are going to go back to what they were before COVID, but many things will not. The editors, the editors in chief, the associate editors, handling editors are very much involved in all the changes that need to occur. Uh, we have had strategy meetings that were planned uh, long before COVID, uh, but they have taken an extra dimension now because of COVID. Uh, what we are planning today may be different from what we will be planning tomorrow. Uh, we need to be very flexible and very open to changes.